Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to review the newly launched Showstopper palette by Prosh. I'm going to swatch all the shades and I'm also going to create this cut trees eye look using the palette. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start with the packaging. This has got a cardboard packaging and I really prefer that when it comes to pressed powders, you know, even if it's a powder highlighter or a powder blush or an eyeshadow palette. And that's because cardboard is a better shock absorber than plastic. The MRP of this palette is Rs. 3300. You get 18 shades. You get 6 metallic shades as you can see and the rest of the shades are matte. So for the eye look, I am going to create this eye look. I thought that I'll use all the pinks and purple toned shades from the palette. I'm going to start with the shades Serene and Groovy, which are these two shades. I'm going to mix these and I am going to use them as my transition. I'm just picking up this shade and then a little bit of this and then tapping off the excess. For this, I will be using the Prosh P07 brush. This is a fluffy blending brush. Now, the lighter matte shades don't have a lot of kickback, but they are pigmented enough for my skin tone. So you can see now I have like a wash of pink all over my eyes. Next, I am going to apply the shade Gutsy in my crease. And for that, I'm using the Prosh P07 brush. I'm just picking it on the tip of the brush. So first, I'm just pressing it on my outer corner then the outer part of my crease i'm not moving the color a lot right now now i'm going to take it into my crease you can see that this shade has got good pigmentation so now i'm going back to my transition brush and just blending it out Next, I am going to pick up the shade Savage. This is a neutral chocolate kind of brown. I am going to apply it into my crease and the brush that I'm using is the Prosh P19. This is a pencil brush and I really want to focus the color, but I don't want it to look patchy. That's why I'm using this brush. You can see it adds a lot of pigment but it doesn't look very patchy. We will blend it. Blend this out. The pigmented shades on the palette are very blendable. So you can easily apply and blend and then apply again until you like the finish. I'm also placing a little bit of the shade Savage on the outer corner just like that just to connect the crease and the outer corner. Then I'm just going to buff out the edge with the shade Serene. For cutting my crease, I am going to use some concealer and the brush I'm using is the Prosh P11. This is a flat brush. It's really easy to do a cut crease look with this. So on my cut trees, I'm going to use a couple of metallic shades. First is going to be Poised, which is this duochrome pink and golden shade. I'm using the Prosh P17 brush to pack this on top of my concealer. So after application, this shade looks more golden than pink, but it also has a little bit of pink in it. And now I am going to use the shade Glitterati, which is this purple metallic shade. This is also a very beautiful shade. I'm going to apply this on the center of my lid. Now these shades do have a little bit of fallout, but you can just brush that off. And now I'm going back into the shade Gutsy. Just blending that metallic shade with the matte. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use the shade Savage. And now to soften that out, I am using the shade Serene. This is just going to soften that shade. When you first look at this palette, you will feel that the lighter shades like Serene and Artistic are for lighter skin tones, but it's not the case. There is color payoff from these shades on my skin tone too and these look amazing on my skin tone. 
And I don't like applying a lot of eyeliner with a cut crease look so I'm just using this gold pencil on the outer corner. This is the Prosh Creme Gel Liner. For my lips I am going to use the Prosh lipstick. This one is in the shade High Tea. So now I'm going to move on to the swatches and I'm going to swatch all the three rows. This is first, second and third. The first shade from the first row is Serene which is this beautiful pink shade. On my skin tone it looks more like a Barbie pink. The second shade is Peppy which is a duochrome metallic. This is a red metallic shade with a gold shift. The third shade is Artistic which is a purple shade. Then we have Vigorous which is a brown with hints of red. Then we have Glitterati which is a metallic purple shade. And the last shade in this row is Vivid which is a black shade. For me, a black shade is a must-have on any eyeshadow palette. Groovy is a peachy nude shade on my skin tone. Poised is again a duochrome metallic. This has a purple base with a golden shift. Swank is a burgundy matte shade. Swish is a proper golden metallic. Snazzy is a metallic shade that has got a silver base but I can also see some champagne shift to it. Savage is a deep brown matte. The last row has Upbeat which is a fall orange kind of shade. Then Daring which is a taupe shade. Gutsy is a deep brown red. Luscious is an orange toned gold metallic shade. High profile is a matte mauve nude. And Bouncy is a berry shade. My favorite row is going to be the bottom row because I have always loved you know very autumn very fall sort of colors. This is perfect for my skin tone but I wanted to play with the pinks and the purples and find out whether these show on my skin tone or not. So that's why the eye look that I created today is mostly with pinks and purples from this palette. The matte shades are very pigmented, they are blendable and there is least kickback on the pan. Also there is no fallout with the matte shades. The metallic shades do have a little bit of fallout if you apply them with a brush but if you apply them with fingers there is no fallout. I'll personally recommend that you apply the metallic shades with fingers because I did apply this shade with a brush and I can see a little bit of fallout in this area. These shades also have an amazing lasting power. They stay on your eyes without creasing for a long time. I really like the color scheme of this palette. This has got all kinds kinds of shades and this looks like a very universal palette because this has got shades for every skin tone. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any queries related to the palette. This does retail for rupees 3300 but I have got a coupon code. You can check out the description box for that. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!